I'm back. Turned off notifications, interruptions, update, master police formula, complete. Phase one initiated, second alignment complete, accolade achieved, congratulations. May your mind be crowned with many gemstones and jewels and you know the power of the word and the voice and the sound and when it comes from an inward place of rest, stillness, silence, meditation. Meditation builds you up. It unlocks greater presence surrounding. Okay. Opening your inward eye in silence. Too many times we see things coming into the vortex and we begin to try to make sense of them. We begin to try to use them and put them in a schematic. We begin to try to use our voice. Stop using your voice to stop what you're being seen and told. So if God is present, if the gemstone of the authority of the Holy One of Israel is present, if the Alpha and the Omega is present, then you silence yourself. So we don't silence ourselves in his presence. So we don't learn from him. We don't eat from him. We don't yearn because he's not like a man. You don't just go slap his hand, talk for her, have a conversation. You yield to this being. You submit to this being. These are the ears that open in the spirit. The ear is your devotion. The eye is your submission. The tongue is your yielding. Okay? Because God is such an inward, intimate God that your hand is his heart. His heart is your feet. Everything is pleasure. Everything is intimacy. Everything is his heart. Everything is better than it's deeper than sexual contact. It's much deeper than that. So you have to learn how to use your being, your mind, the spirit of your eye in Christ to penetrate deeper levels of God. And you have to learn how to be intimate with him on a gentle level, but yet be so forceful on a violent level on this side of the playing field and on this right hand of the battlefield. And you got to learn every aspect and every dimension of what surrounds him, of who he is. And you understand God by knowing who he is and yielding to him. You don't understand God by trying to figure him out, by trying to put him in a math love formula. Everything you see in creation has been destroyed. Discovered. But you don't figure out God just through discovery of creation. You have to yield to his being. You have to submit unto his hand. You have to bow unto him. And you ain't got to bow all crazy and stuff at your first level of degree because you don't know how to worship. It's okay. But this is the key. You must yield to this being that we call God, King Jehovah. Okay, there's only one God, so we don't have to break down and begin to explain to everybody, well, this, 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 and that. And I did that before, but we're in a depths right now. I don't got to go to the kindergarten classroom right now. We're in a depths right now. So we're gold mining. We're hacking right now. So how does Bitcoin become a cryptancy? And the only, if, if cryptancy became a Bitcoin cryptancy in it had no value to spend. Nobody would chase it. But your words have a value to spend in the spirit. Your knowledge has a value to spend. And until you esteem that wisdom to higher degrees, God will see and perceive and understand and look with his brilliance and know that you're not ready for that plane. You say, well, Lord, I worked hard for it. I worked harder than anybody. I prayed for it. I, but you didn't catch the revelation of it. And you didn't understand the key and the nuggets and the nodes of knowledge. And you didn't put that as your accuracy. You just like in the world, you worked harder. I worked harder. I worked harder. I worked harder. But you know what? After 400 billenniums and millenniums of existence, I finally come to a realization. It's about resting in his ability. Resting in in his movement, resting in him being the plow, in him being the brook, in him being the cook. I think it's taken a long time for us to learn this and it's many things can be stripped away from the body. Your skin can be stripped, knowledge can be stripped. But the beautiful thing about when it enters into the heart that's why the Bible teaches you. When we read our Bible, it teaches us, let his words enter into your heart. I have hidden them in my heart so I won't sin against you because there is a vortex in your heart. And that's the only word I can think of right now. But listen to this. When knowledge goes deep enough into your heart, whether you're fasting, whatever you do to become more potent. I, play, I was playing a video game and before the boss fights, people have all these amplifiers. They have all these upgraded your armor, put on this mist. So, well, there's ways you do that to allow knowledge to enter into the depths of your heart. I believe it's called the recesses of your heart. 
When you allow the knowledge of God to enter into this depth, a lot of people get there, but it doesn't enter into this depth. You automatically on spot right then and there change, transform, encounter Jesus, encounter Jehovah, encounter the master. And can see Jesus is just the name that was used for him as the suit that he wore on earth. And we call him Christ. He's the Christ of God. But there are 700 million, infinite billion dimensions of his manifestation that he wants us to tap into. Yet he simplifies himself because he wants to be approachable. But if we're going to go higher, he has to give us a higher mind. The mind of Christ, the mind of Jesus. You invoke these names. Look, you invoke that name. You don't think Jesus is powerful? You don't think that name is powerful? Watch people invoking that name against demons. See, if we're using, G if I'm using that name, towards a person, the manifestation many times is going to be gentleness, softness, love, because the direction of that being Jesus towards you is love. But if I, if I invoke that name towards warfare, towards demons, then the manifestation of that name might be a little more sweet, a lot, a little bit, a lot, a little bit more sugar because we human beings were beings of power or we're beings were hungry for power. And there's nothing wrong with that. We're hungry to see the manifestation of power, and we should. But after you've seen so much power, and that's good, you want the love of God. If you have power and success and achievement and respect and honor, and you're the king of the army, but you don't have love, just like the word teaches us, you have absolutely nothing. And in my life, and my discoveries, and my pursuit, and my chasing, and my seeking, and my finding. If you don't have stability, and you don't return to rest, you'll, have, you'll build the biggest mountain, and it will fall into the sea the next day. There are certain things that maintain the mountain. There are certain things that maintain the frequency of creation. Okay, and we've talked about this in our previous sessions. But we want to go forward. Because what I'm trying to do in my life right now, the Holy Spirit just simplified me right now. Like right now as we're talking, the hand of God is touching us. And God likes it when I'm alone with Him. When I'm alone making money, he gave me a dream and a vision. and It's amazing how God will give you a dream. And you think that dream is only telling you about a specificness. But because he's eternal, that dream applies to every person, every vicinity, every velocity, every, every aspect, every next day of your life. You can use that. See, we take dreams, we write them down, talk about them, and then we throw them into the toilet. So we treat our visi. Oh, Jesus, that was good. That's a good one. That's a good one. I feel it. So in our treasure chest of dr dreams and visions, we should never throw them away. We should keep them in an open application. And I just learned that right now while we're speaking, revelation is unlocking in me. And so I revisit that. Thank God I have all my dreams and visions written on a text message base so I can just look at my phone see nowadays things are too simple and you have to use that simplicity and by things being simple for many people in the world it's hard for us to live a successful life because when things become that simple we lose sight of responsibility we lose sight of hard work we lose sight of the value you know what I'm saying if you had to kill your food if I had to go out hunting for eight hours and kill my food, I probably would treasure that food, value that food, adore that food, stock that food, save that food. But when life becomes so easy, but, but, but this is the thing, you can make your life 400 billion times more powerful as long as you don't lose the sight of responsibility, as long as you don't lose the sight of putting in sweat, putting in effort, putting in hard work. And let me tell you something about serving God, the true and living God, the mighty Jehovah. The everlasting God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am. 
So he said, I am, but he said that I am because he's including you and in who he is. <laughs> That's how you unify. And people are jealous of you. Other races are jealous of you. Other species are jealous of you because you are able to be one with God in a way that not everybody is able to be one with God. And he's able to do that. The devil ain't got nothing. The devil ain't got nothing. God is able to use everything for a greater level of glory for you to unify you to him in a greater way ever never been seen. Even then the original plan, God has a new plan. He has a new ideal. He has a new hand. He has a new level on all sides. And what makes him superior is he's available in real time on all spectrums in every space and every node. We can talk about a body of knowledge. We can access the infinite. So our access to the infinite, it's the access, not us gaining more, not because I have a bigger bag of gold than you. No, 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 no. Because I have the Holy Ghost, I have access to the infinite. That means I can draw, I can extract infinite levels of knowledge, infinite levels of re revelation, infinite levels of wisdom, infinite levels of structure, infinite levels of go. Oh, I love Jesus. I feel God in my soul. I can see golden, just, just golden streams all the way down the street. I'm looking at horses, spirit horses and that represents strength because I was wondering and I, I didn't see all right, so now the Lord is changing my life. I just went from the mind to a reflection in my heart. So this is where the Lord Jehovah transforms me. Now let's talk about this that's occurring in real time right now. You like these videos? It's the opening that we have access to. All right, because I need transformation right now. So, mm, hold on, let me take a shot of my energy drink. Right now, I'm in my car with no air conditioning. What that's doing is creating a pressure. But that pressure is magnifying the sound in my heart. That pressure is magnifying the sound of silence. The loudest voice, the loudest sound, the loudest tune of God is silence. When the body is silent, God begins to speak. God begins to magnify. God begins to exalt inside of you. God begins to reign like a champion inside of you. Now, there's a hammer right now. I don't, I don't whatever, look, right now, whatever evil is in your life, there is a hammer from the Lord Jehovah, King Jehovah, smiting, striking it to the ground where your feet are your foes and they're going to get buried. I don't care what devil it is. I don't care what demon it is right now in the name of Jesus. Okay. What do you want from me? Okay, I'm sorry. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. Okay, we got all kind of money coming in. All kind of guys. I got so much opportunity just blowing. It's crazy. You know how you pray? Okay, let's 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 get let's stay deep. I don't want to get shallow. Forgive me. I don't want to get shallow. <laughs> I want to stay deep. Now after this, I gotta worship God. So, I didn't see my weakness as the chariot of strength. My weakness, I felt weak because I felt drained. But I was drained because that level of energy and momentum was being given to others. Now, as God, I don't want to use the word cut off, but I'm going to use the word cut off to a certain distance. He had to pull me back surround everybody instead of me suffering from them anymore carrying their burdens interceding for them going to war for them my time was complete yet my time was stagnated hold on in my human body i have to burp sorry <laughs> okay time now but what was that was doing See, there is a place where the reward lies. Just like there is a place where the behemoth dwells, there is your promise, yet there's a behemoth in it. Why every time you're getting close to your promise, in the promise there's a behemoth? That's why so many Christians and believers get confused. Because you were supposed to go into the promise and slay that behemoth. Now, I understand now. 
The place of my reward was in the place of my rest. The place of my transformation where my eyes got to witness the next level in real time, in available time, in automatic time, was in the place of releasing this domain and the depths that was given to me. So the collection, the archives of collection spread out on a table sheet. And I'm trying to simplify this, but this is the only way we can go to get to this degree. It was all there, but there was a place that activate the entire archive. There was a place and it was the place of rest and the place of re and, and, and release. And even though I've talked about this 70 billion times, I've seemed to not be able to follow it, but only 20 billion times. So if I'm not speaking according to what I'm demonstrating, according to the accuracy I'm acquiring, according to the momentum daily, according to the character of my behavior momentarily, week by week, month by month, then I'm stepping out of the ordination of my character in that domain of power that has been given to me. Because you can't hate anybody on earth. They carry, if you get around a person who has so much divine energy, divine power, he doesn't even have to speak because the presence of God is so strong on him. Don't be mad. That brother has accumulated. That brother has been through a thing or two. Why don't you sit under his coat? Why don't you yearn for that? Why don't you long for him? Why don't you get close to him? You don't get close to him because you walk close to him. You get closer to him because you honor him. You realize what's in him. You treasure him. You choose not to listen to the voice of the adversary and you choose to love on him. That's how you get close to the vessels of God. And that's how you drink from the honey and gold of power. Now let me take another shot of my energy drink. Hallelujah. There were certain standpoints where I was supposed to use my voice to break through. But instead, I used my mind, my intentions, which are connected to my preferences. Whatever your preferences are, your mind is connected to that. Your emotions are connected to that. You become tied to that. So you don't like doing this at 6 a.m. in the morning. So God can only use you from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Because you have a disturbed belief system and because you have a preference, you don't like to be bothered at this time because you need this and you don't like when people do this. And trust me, everything I'm telling you, I have gone through the fire to get through it. So I'm not telling you my words are not empty. My words are filled with the fire of heaven. And you will feel it dawn upon you, crown upon you, rain upon you, shine upon you. And you will never be the same. That's why it's called the depths. That's why it's a certain secret corridor. Yet I connected it to the open frequency. So we found, okay, I can't go that deep right now. We can't go that deep right now. Let's rise up just a little bit. We're talking about the, in case you were wondering, what are we talking about? People seem to ask in the physical realm. I don't know the subject. Don't say you don't know the subject because you were bored or because you weren't really in the message. So you're just using a word. And even though it sounds good, silence, be silent. I've learned to be silent at all moments. The more I gave, the more I gave these spheres silence, the more the hand of the angels begin to direct and the more they begin to collect the gloves like a baseball and they begin to collect things and bring them to Jehovah. They collect your weakness. They collect your cry. They collect your praise. Okay. And they present them to the almighty. Yet God is all knowing, but he has a way he does things. Don't see people give up on they don't they don't understand god because he's all knowing he's all powerful why doesn't he just snap his fingers and even though i murdered somebody and raped somebody get me out of jail just because he forgave you don't mean you're gonna not pay your consequences now you're not gonna pay your consequences according to what you deserve okay so in life we learn to back up. You know, in life, there's spirits, there's things. Oh, the, the phone's coming out today. I got to make so many videos so I can get so many views. Oh, well, I got to get that now because it's this time. But in the divine dimension, what you do, and I've practiced this. I've practiced this for a long time. I've worked on this for a long time. Hallelujah. You step back from that and you actually rest from that and you actually wait till the product is finished on that. While other people are producing and getting millions of views, you're withdrawing yourself and preparing the greater, 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 greater greatness. So when you present it, you're going to get eternal views. But the key of life is to capture and give somebody an experience. Uh, because a person can get a million views and everybody's rushing to see what the product does. 
But if I touch your heart through an experience, whether it be music, whether it be my voice, whether it be through laughter, I've captured you. I'm in your memory now. And because I serve the king of heaven, I get to release life there. I get to release plants there. I get to release oaks of glory there. I, really, I get to release trees of sweetness there. And then your pleasantness becomes my pleasantness. This is how we double. Now, you double by connecting with another vessel. You multiply when the double vessels connect with double vessels. That's a key to this corridor. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Matrix. The key to the corridor. That movie, the key to the corridor. When you see the man with the key, why it's not, why is the angle as a corridor? Because these are the realms of consciousness. These are the realms of eternal opening. And your eye has to see. Now we tell you these things, but this is like giving wood, brick, mortar, and a hammer to somebody that does not know how to build a house. Now when you align with the generals, do you know what I love about serving God too? God is not a closed God. What does this say? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. He's an open, available God. Everything is open to you and available to you. In the name of Jesus, amen.